Mabuhay! Welcome tayo dito sa Pilipinas. Alam niyo ba, ang tagline dito sa Pilipinas, it's more fun in the Philippines. Ang daming tourist area dito. Pero ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, it's more fun learning DRR in the Philippines. Bakit dito sa Pilipinas? Meron tayong bagyo, meron tayong baha, meron tayong landslide, meron pang storm surge. Bukod dyan, may lindol pa, may tsunami rin. Meron pang armed conflict. Ah, talaga naman. You name it, we have it. Kaya yung karanasan namin dito, talagang napakataas. Kaya nga, kahit wala kaming high-tech na mga gadgets, kagaya ng mga developed countries, we make do of what we have. Bakit? Hinubog kami ng karanasan. At dahil dyan, marami tayong matututunan dito sa Pilipinas. The Philippines is a beautiful country. Unfortunately, because of our geographical locations, uh, we are considered as uh, disaster prone. We're a natural laboratory for hazards. We have a lot of earthquakes happening here in the Philippines. We have a lot of typhoons here in the Philippines. Nasa Pacific Ring of Fire tayo yung Typhoon Belt. No? At matindi talaga ang kinakaharap ng Pilipinas pagdating sa usapin ng hazards and vulnerability. You have to also consider yung ating socio-economic circumstances. So number one, we have a very, very high level of population which actually connects to yung level of poverty po natin. Basically, tinitignan natin ang collaboration at partnership as a force multiplier. Dahil nga ang disaster reduction and management ay tinitignan natin as everybody's business. Kaya lahat tayo ay merong role to play at tataya ang responsibilidad. It's not just about coordination, collaboration, but we now have to go into convergence. That is where we will now complement each other. It's also important that we collaborate not only amongst organizations. It's important to collaborate particularly with the communities themselves. We have a very active multi-sectoral partnership and collaboration here in the Philippines. We are proud to be part of this field prep. This is a platform composed of the key stakeholders in disaster risk reduction management. For us here in the Office of Civil Defense, the field prep platform has actually been one of the best platforms we have. No? It allows for a more direct collaboration with the academe, the civil society sector, as well as the private sector. This is really a very ideal partnership. This is the kind of partnership that we focus because this is where we can actually provide support to the government, to the community, and also to the people's organization. The government alone cannot take care of everyone. It's important that we are united in action. Sabi nga nila, di ba? Effective response requires coordinated response. The Sendai frameworks talk about a whole of society approach. Those two are very, very important in resilience building. Kailangan talaga magkaroon ng effort para maging cohesive at gumalaw tayo as one. Individually, we are very strong organizations. Through the field prep, we are able to be consciously working together. Resilience doesn't work in silos, so no one is safe until everyone is safe. The challenge right now and the opportunity uh, that is in front of us really is localization. And I'm glad that our partner CDP also have the same vision. Uh, tayo ay nasa national uh, level partnership sa ngayon. Maganda sana na magkaroon ito ng replication at the grassroots level. It is a space and opportunity para sa mga local actors to be at the forefront of humanitarian response. You get the community to define what they want for their community to be in the future. You always consult the people in the community, the stakeholders. To this end, uh, a national platform is very important for the advocacy towards helping to transform the humanitarian aid scene. Since 2014, we have been invited to a lot of fora, conferences here and abroad. No? And we are active in the UN programs and activities, we are active in the Asia-Pacific region as far as uh, discussion on disaster risk reduction is concerned. And, and one thing that I have seen is that Philippines, as far as DRRM, is very advanced. No? Tayo ay nasa forefront ng disaster risk reduction sa Southeast Asia dahil nga matindi talaga ang exposure natin in terms of the geographical location. No? At malala talaga ang kinakaharap natin mga disaster 
Pero nonetheless, nandito pa rin tayo at tayo mo sa buong tayo ay tinitignan bilang foremost expert on DRR sa buong Southeast Asia at sa buong mundo. Sa lala na kinakaharap natin, nandito pa rin tayo at maganda ang ating run. Hey, we must be doing something right. Malayo tayo sa pagiging perfecto, pero yung karanasan natin sa pagharap at pananagumpay sa disaster, karapat dapat yung matutunan at maibahagi sa inyo. Pero hindi lang doon nagtatapos, maigi din siguro na matuto kami mula sa inyo. Kasi itong eh, sharing natin ng ating mga karanasan, wala magpupuntahan yan kung di ang pagiging ligtas, matatag at maunlad ang ating mga pinaglilingkuran ng mga komunidad. Kaya halika na, punta tayo dito sa Pilipinas, mag-aral tayo, kita-kits!